Hello folks, welcome once again to problem solving and uh, in this session we have taken a different equation. This is not an algebraic equation. We have taken an exponential equation. Now what is an exponential equation? You know, so let's understand that first and then we'll see how we can use the methods known for quadratic equations to solve exponential equations. Now exponential equation or for that matter any expression exponential expression will be of the form of a to the power x right so a to the power x is nothing but where a is a constant a is constant and x is variable okay so this is how is it different from algebraic expression so if you see algebraic expression will be of the order x of the nature x to the power a where x is variable a is constant here it's upside down so the base and the exponent has have changed their places right so hence bases are constant but the exponents are variables and if you have a expression uh, containing uh, those terms then it is called an exponential expression and when you equate this exponential expression to anything else it becomes an exponential equations so if you see here 2 is the base x minus 2 is there is a variable power on the on on 2 similarly 3 minus x is a variable x is the variable so hence 3 minus x keeps on changing so hence 3 minus x itself is variable varying and hence the base is 2 so base is constant power is variable so hence you know and there are two such terms and then they are added together and equated to 3 so hence this is an equation exponential equation how to solve them very good let's try and solve them so hence can we simplify this a little bit so if you see Using the exponential rules, we can say 2 to the power x minus 2 is 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power 2. Correct. Similarly, you can see 2 to the power 3 by 2 to the power x is equal to 3. This is what we can say by a to the power minus m is equal to 1 upon a to the power m. This we have learned in the rules of indices so now what so if you simplify further it is 2 to the power x to the power uh, upon 4 plus uh, 8 upon 2 to the power x is equal to 3 right now we will play our card definitely this is not a quadratic but let us say y is equal to 2 to the power x i can say that so the equation is reduced to y upon 4 plus 8 upon y is equal to 3 so this implies it is y square plus 32 having the common denominator as 4y correct is equal to 32 is equal to 3 sorry so hence if you reduce it further it is y square plus 32 is equal to 12y and this will become y square minus 12y plus 32 equals 0 so hence y square minus 4y minus 8y splitting the middle term 32 equals 0 so this implies y times y minus 4 minus a times y minus 4 is equal to 0 isn't it so this implies y minus 4 times y minus 8 is equal to 0 right so hence y is either 4 or y is either 8 but we want x not y so what was x so if you see y is equal to 2 to the power x let us write it again so 2 to the power x is equal to 4 so can be written as 2 square and here similarly 2 to the power x can be written as 2 to the power 3 so if the bases are same then in an equation exponential equation we can equate the coefficient or uh, sorry the exponents so hence x is 2 and here x equals 3 right so for equal exponential equation what do you need to do you make sure the bases are same the bases are same then you can equate the exponent so hence there are two values two roots to this equation x equals to 2 and x equals 3 my friend so hence even exponential equations can be reduced to quadratic equation and then can be solved 